Today, I will be building a massive Lego Star Wars First Order Army in Lego. And I will be setting them up in the same exact formation as you see from the epic Starkiller based speech scene where you see thousands of First Order troopers. Flashback to 2015 when we first saw the First Order in The Force Awakens. Younger me was so ecstatic that we were finally getting a brand new faction armor troopers that come from inspiration of the clone troopers of the Republic and the stormtroopers of the Empire. I fell in love with the design of the First Order troopers, like the basic stormtrooper which has a nice and sleek design that for the next generation of stormtroopers, as well as the First Order snow troopers, flame troopers, and even the officers. And with LEGO officially unveiling the minifigure version of each trooper, I knew this was an army I wanted to collect a ton of. So throughout 2015 through 2019, I began to collecting an army since I was so hyped on the sequel trilogy. But that being said, let's get into assembling my first order army. Here is the main picture of reference I'll be using from Starkiller Base for using our trooper formations. Now I'm going to just be making your army formations today, but if you want to see entire mock base around this scene, check out my friend Jay's uh, Rich Boy Jay. He made the, one of the coolest LEGO Star Wars mocks ever of Starkiller Base. Now let's work our way from the front and then work backwards to each formation of troopers. Our first section is a group of stormtroopers and stormtrooper commanders in a 7x12 formation. So that's what we'll be placing first. And as you can see here, the Lego First Order Stormtroopers look absolutely amazing in formation. These ones in particular are the actual pointed mouth Stormtroopers that are redesigned from The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. In my opinion, I like these guys a bit more than the Force Awakens round mouth variant, but we'll get to those later on. Now before we add the next group of Stormtroopers behind, we must add First Order crew members that are in a 3x6 formation. Now these are a cool variant of black clad armored troopers who maintain and operate ships and bases. And then right behind them is a 4x4 formation of first order TIE fighter pilots, which in my opinion has to be one of the best LEGO minifigures of all time, especially the special forces variant with the two red stripes. I mean, come on, just look at this guy. Now to the left of this formation, we will add a 4x13 formation of first order crewmen and officer variants. Now all the way to the left, we have to add another group of TIE fighter pilots in a seven by three formation. Now I don't think I have many of these figures left, so we'll have to add a few first order engineers instead to fill out the ranks, even though they are not the same figure, but they are still in black armor, which will still look good from afar. Additionally, I will add another group of first order crew in an eight by three and a three by five formation. Now we really are starting to see Star Killer base formation of the army come to life, but this is just the beginning. Time to add another formation of stormtroopers directly behind the previous one in a 12 by 7 group and also a 10 by 6 to the left of that. There are a lot of first order stormtrooper commanders slash officers in these formations on these sides, but I don't actually have too many of the official Lego cloth ones. So I actually added some custom ones that I have a few uh, variants of them and the kind of red and white ones, which I think look quite nice on the official Lego stormtroopers. Now back to the right side, and we have to add two more formations of stormtroopers in a 12 by six layout. Now at this point, you can really start to see the First Order come to life in this awesome scene from The Force Awakens. Now for the final three formations of the mock, I'm going to be adding a 6x12 different variants of Stormtrooper legions, one being fully of like the First Order regular Stormtroopers, one being of Snow Troopers, another being a variety of different types of troopers from Heavy Troopers, um, Flame Troopers, as well as like Jet Troopers and all other sorts of figures to kind of fill out the rest of the ranks since I'm running out of troopers. Now here is the snow trooper section I was talking about. Now this is a total of 60 snow troopers, I believe. And I just absolutely adore this variant of the first order snow trooper. 
and i just really can't wait to get more of these guys in the future as well as here's the mixture of the first order stormtrooper and first order heavy troopers which have the extra ammo pouch on the back which really fit nicely in this army formation you don't really even notice that they're any different kind of troopers so i think that really fits nice in the middle and then all the way on the right side we have a variety of different types of troopers being heavy troopers snow troopers the really sick flame troopers like again one of the best lego figures ever and also a bunch of jet troopers and executioners now the final piece we need to add to the star killer base army scene is of course multiple different kind of vehicles being the first order transporters and tie fighters now let's see the final product today is the end of the republic the end of a regime that acquiesces to disorder at this very moment in a system far from here, the new republic lies to the galaxy while secretly supporting the treachery of the loathsome resistance. This fierce machine which you have built, upon which we stand, will bring an end to the Senate, to their cherished fleet. All remaining systems will bow to the first order! And we'll remember this as the last day of the Republic. And here is my Lego Star Wars First Order Army, consisting of over 700 figures with many other vehicles right behind it. Now let's see the final form of the Starkiller base scene taking place. So I tried my very best to get all the troopers I needed to make it look just like it's right out of Star Killer base scene. And I absolutely am loving this. I've done this so many times growing up and with over 700 figures here, it's not even getting the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other troopers and stuff like that I need to accomplish. So maybe if y'all wanna see a part two, I'm continuing this series, building up my first order army to try to do a rebuild Star Killer base and try to build that mock maybe in the future with a accurate amount of troopers, let me know. But of course we have all of our different formations of two Stormtrooper platoons here with like, I think 80 in each and as well as even more uh, stormtrooper platoons on each side and then if we go to the back we have again our snow troopers we have our heavy troopers mixed in and then a variety of snow troopers heavy troopers flame troopers and executioners and also jet troopers and then of course we have our variety of first order crew all the tie fighter pilots and variety of like engineers and such which i thought this part is a super cool getting all the tie fighter pilots in formation because i'm surprised how many i have and then to finish it off we actually have these really awesome uh first order transporter kind of mocks i could say they're the original lego set just made a little bit longer and i absolutely love this model i actually did it to five different uh, uh, versions of the set so it's just five of the sets extended to make it more minifig scale and can fit more troopers as well as seven of the first order specialist tie fighters that will be kind of taking over the skies for the first order and you see tons of these during the star killer base scene hope you all enjoyed me building up this army and if you want to see more in the future and more star killer base content maybe like and subscribe down below and i will see y'all next time